In this episode, I'm going to show you how I solved the problem with a broken handle on my slide vise. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I use Fusion 360 and 3D printing to fix a broken handle on the slide vise. Now, the slide vise had a handle on it, sort of like this one, but in my last move into this new house, it got dropped and broke this handle in half here, so obviously I don't have that handle any longer, but I still really like this slide vise because what I do is I use this for indexing holes you know, to drill them out. So this doesn't take a lot of torque, so I don't really need this beefy of a mechanism uh, to turn it. I just need something where I can get a hold of it, turn it, because as you can see here, it turns pretty smoothly. So I've lubed this up with some Teflon and uh, works great. So what I did is I turned to Fusion 360 and whipped up uh, basically a large thumb screw, which goes on here, sort of like that. And then we just take a washer and then we put this bolt over it. At the end of the day, Bob's your uncle, and there you go. So I really like the way that this turned out. I really like the way it looks. I printed this out of PLA. It has 1.2 millimeter uh, top and bottom as well as walls, 25% infill. This is really robust. So I don't think I'll have an issue with it. If I had to do it again, I'd probably do it in PET G. Uh, but the biggest thing is I wanted it to be gray. I wanted it to be this color, and that's the only color I had. Uh, I only had PLA in this color, so I did it that way. But again, I think this will be robust enough for the use it gets. So again, it doesn't get a lot of torque. So if you run into a problem like this, just kind of think it through. You know, you can use Fusion 360. You know, I could have even designed this in Tinkercad, so it didn't even have to be Fusion 360. Pretty simple. Um, what was nice about Fusion 360 is the filleting and the rounding of this uh, works out really easy in Fusion 360. However, again, you could have done this in OpenSCAD, Tinkercad, all kinds of other stuff, as I mentioned. It's just really how you think through this. And again, I wanted to have where I could really grab it, and I really measured out the size to get the optimal amount of leverage on it. So. That's why I do these design talk episodes is to inspire you guys into solving problems with 3D printing instead of just printing out koozies. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, Swag Shop's going to be in the corner. So hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And we'll see you in the next video where we design something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.